Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the video. So I thought after yesterday's video, it might be nice if we've just checked in after four years with Mr. Carl Logan to check in with his resplendent replacement, Mr. Evie Martell. A sort of a palate cleanser after having to think about the fact that one of our favourite guitar players did what he did. So, welcome to the video. Much like four years ago, this rant, whatever, this video is going to be about Evie Martell. So when he first joined the band, a lot of Man of War fans were understandably skeptical because he came from a tribute band and a lot of people had actually seen him play before. And I imagine that a lot of people were proven right in their skepticism by some of the rather amateurish mistakes that Evie made when he first joined the band. But if you guys have listened to Joey DeMaio's Words of Power podcast, you would know that there were some issues beginning. For a start, Evie barely spoke a word of English, and that made it very difficult for him to work with Man of War in the beginning. To join a, a very well-established band, particularly a band like Man of War, I wouldn't want it. So I, I really give the guy a lot of credit. When he came in and played, I, I think, I, I don't know if he's ever told the story, but I think when he when uh, he has the chance to, uh, he, he will tell you that it was like, very much like the movie Whiplash. Because although he had played the Man of War music and played the Man of War songs, but playing it with us is certainly very much different because there are all these little nuances and all these things that we're used to doing. He told Manuel, uh, because his English wasn't that great at that time, and he told Manuel, please tell Joey not to feel bad about yelling and screaming at me in front of everybody uh, because I want to do the very, very best I can and I don't take offense. I really want to learn everything. <laughs> and when I heard that, I said, well, I have to say, good for him. Because obviously, language barrier. Second of all, of course, he'd gotten used to how he played with his band. Playing with Man of War is a completely different thing. I can tell you guys from experience that playing with different musicians is completely different. No two musicians are the same and everyone you work with has their own vibe and the make or break of a band is whether or not that vibe works, whether or not your individual styles and methods of playing work together well. So obviously again, having that language barrier as well as that particular hurdle that we all have to overcome when we play in a new band did not help him in the outset. The next thing I think was pretty obvious when Evie joined was the nerves. I mean, if I had been asked to replace Eric Adams in Man of War, like genuinely, if, if I was to get the call tomorrow and say, hey, do you want to replace Eric? All anyone on the other end would hear would be <laughs> my body slumping to the floor, because that is not something that someone ever wants to have to do. Again, even Joey said so in his podcast that the last thing anyone wants is to be that guy who joined the band later on because he will always be compared to the guy before him and the guy before the guy before him and the guy before the guy before that. So he had the most difficult job because he was just joining an established band and also pretty much his favorite band in the whole world. So again, pretty excusable for him to have nerves doing a massive world tour with his favourite band that he just joined, to which he has a language barrier. Now checking in on him four years on, we can compare some of the performances of certain songs in 2019 to 2022, and I would personally say he's come a very long way. Evie has always been capable of playing what Carl Logan could play, otherwise Man of War would never have hired him. But again, obviously some sloppy amateur mistakes probably came from the fact that A, he was nervous, B, he was now playing with a new band that he'd just gone into, and C, there was a language barrier between them that prevented the fixing of certain mistakes in short order. Now when you look at him on stage, he's far more confident. You know, he's always had this youthful exuberance, but now that has given way not just to enthusiasm, but also experience, because he's been on the Roman Man of War for multiple years now, and he's settled into the role. <laughs> I think EV was the best choice. I know that David Shankle would have done a fantastic job rejoining Man of War, and I imagine Ross would have too, but I just think the clashing that Ross and Joey have just wouldn't have permitted a situation where Man of War could have continued. And David Shankle, whilst he is absolutely amazing as a guitar player, 
has a completely different style to Carl Logan, a style that I personally prefer. I much like the thrashy, shreddy style of David Shankle, as well as the fact that he can play the melodic parts, but again, he has other projects going on, such as the David Shankle group and Feanor. He also had a health scare a couple of years ago where he had a brain tumour that had to be removed, so it may not have been possible for him to be in Man of War again. So there we have it. I believe Eevee has done a fantastic, nay, stellar job, and I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think of Eevee Martin? Do you guys still think we have cause to be worried or do you think he slotted into the role quite well and as I've said has grown with the band? Let me know what you think but I personally believe he has done exceedingly well and he has risen to the challenge. I mean for crying out loud the man went out and got a sleeve tattoo including multiple pieces of Man of War related art that he didn't have before he joined the band so it clearly had a very positive effect and influence on his life and I believe again his rags to riches fan to band member story is an inspiring one and it's one that we could all benefit from learning from so there we go please let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon and i will see you guys in the next video Na 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 family guy